All right, on today's episode of Python Poppy, I'm going to give you an update of our trading bot. Let's have a look at it now. Now, we did make some changes to our back test here. As you can see, we're going to be running the back test for the entire year of 2023, starting at January 1st and then December 31st. And we're still doing the same stock. This is the simple spot here. Now, because it is we're doing a whole year, 2023, a whole back test for that whole year, it's going to be a lot of information that we're trying to sort through. It's going to be a lot of mock buys and sells, and it's a lot of information. Plus, it has to create a whole bunch of scenarios and prices of what could have happened if we had bought at certain areas and sold at certain areas. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot to work through. I suggest if we do this, we're going to do it over Ethernet. But for now, we have Wi-Fi, so that's what we're working with. Should be starting up any minute now. <laughs> there it is. And then again, it is a, a whole year that we're trying to work through, and we are using Wi Fi, so it, should, it might take a little while. Of course, I'm not going to stay in the watch the whole download. But you can see here we started with a portfolio value of $100,000. So, yeah, we are connected to our portfolio and our body is working. It's working from January 1st, 2023, and it's going to work its way all the way to December 31st, 2023, making buys and sales. And we should start seeing that $100,000 change from actual buys and sales that the bot made or mock made throughout that year. So we started at 100000 also, the bot is set up on sentiment, so it can read news articles and it can read different platforms to see a sentiment about a certain stock. If the sentiment is negative or neutral, the bot won't make any buys. If the stock is positive and the sentiment is positive, our bot will make buys. And it will also make sales based around the same thing. If it sees any indications that it's a good time to sell, it will do that. If not, it will just hold. So we're still at 100,000, meaning that it didn't feel like it was the right time to make any purchases as of yet. So we still have 100,000. And again, I'm not going to sit around and wait for this whole thing to load for you while work, while it works through the whole year. I'm just waiting for the price to fluctuate so I can show you that it is actually making buys and trades. And if it takes too long to, uh, I did I did saw a price change there. I was about to say, if it takes too long for a price change, I'll make a second video. But I just want to show you a price change to show you. So it looks like we made a buy. We have $99,057.92. So we did make a buy along the way somewhere. Let's see if we get another price change, okay? We made another buy, it looks like. Because now we have $98,781.44. See, the body's doing what it's supposed to do. Once we're live, we don't have to worry about back testing and all the stuff. That's the only reason it gets so long. Once it's live, it'll be actually working through up to date information and on the spot information so it doesn't have to try to make up scenarios for a whole year and what ifs for a whole year of buys and sells. Back up to 99,000, back now to 98,000. So, yep, the body is doing what it's supposed to do is making buys and sells on sentiments based around the market. And yeah. So the princess's bot is done. The last step is actually to put it under her control and let her uh, and let her operate that for us. Now, I'll probably hold off on creating projects for the princess. I want to focus on the artificial intelligence. As you can see, we've been in that knowledge module for it feels like forever. So yeah, I want to uh, put a little more time into that. So we'll probably be doing double videos of that throughout the day. But yeah. If I think of anything else that can be added to the princess's arsenal, I will do that eventually. But yeah, right now her body is working and uh, 
We're going to keep moving forward. It's just the Python Poppy. You guys stay good.